Hello everyone, I'm Ihsan. In this video, we're going to look at various new features of One UI 6 available on various types of Samsung phones. Starting from the A05 series, A15, and also A25. Okay, let's jump right in and explore each feature one by one. After updating to One UI 6, one of the first noticeable changes is the redesigned quick panel display, with buttons repositioned significantly. This new layout is consistent across all three Samsung smartphone series, with no variations in settings or features among them. In the settings for the quick panel on all three devices, you'll have the choice between the top and full quick panel layouts. These layouts can be personalized to include the shortcuts you need. In the new quick panel settings of One UI 6, there's also an option that can be activated to quickly access the full quick panel view by swiping down from the top right corner of the screen. The album art display when playing media such as songs or videos also appears with a new and attractive design on all three smartphones. Then there is also a cool sound wave effect that moves with the music or video you are playing, making it even more enjoyable to watch or listen to. This feature is consistent across all three smartphone types without any differences in appearance. Then moving on to the lock screen, particularly in the clock section. You can change the clock appearance on all three with the same set of phone options. Additionally, you can freely position the clock either on the left, center, or right side of the screen on all three smartphones. There is also an added feature of drag and drop with two fingers to move icons quickly. This can be done on all three smartphones. Then continuing with the home screen, there are also new widgets available for quick access to the camera, offering direct access to specific modes. These widgets can be added on all three smartphones. Then when searching for an app's name in the app drawer, several shortcuts related to the app will also appear, allowing quicker access to its functions. Then in the My Files app, you will also find helpful recommendations for managing data in the smartphone's internal memory. The Trust feature in the My Files app is also now seamlessly integrated with various system applications. This allows you to delete files directly from the My Files application, including those from other system applications. Moreover, the My Files app now supports copying files using two hands simultaneously. And then during multitasking, especially when using apps in pop-up window mode, the pop-up window will remain open even after accessing recent apps. And then the emoji display on Samsung phone's default keyboard now comes with a fresh new design that is consistent across all three smartphones. And then when sending photo, you'll now see a preview of the file at the top, making it easier to verify the content before sending. Moreover, in the One UI 6 version, there is also a newly added weather widget featuring attractive animations. Additionally, the weather widget information within the app is now more detailed and comprehensive compared to the previous version. Moreover, the background color inside the app remains consistent while scrolling, blending seamlessly with the weather display. And then the camera app now features a new interface that appears simpler and more organized. The watermark feature now provides more comprehensive position settings on all three smartphones. The document scanning feature differs among the three smartphones. It's available in the A05 and A25 series, but not available in the A15 series. Additionally, the A25 series has an extra auto-scan feature. The resolution settings for video recording and photo resolution are also now simplified, with all options clearly visible. And then the latest camera feature also comes with the left line feature. It is also accessible on all three smartphones. And then for Auto FPS feature is only available on A25 series, and it's not available on A05 and A15 series. And then the option to disable switching cameras with a swipe up or down is not available in A05 series, but it is available in A15 and A25 series. Then in the A05 series, the selfie effects are limited to on or off. Well, on the A15 and A25 series, offer automatic front camera filter effects. Then moving on to the gallery app. In the latest One UI 6.0 gallery app, when you swipe up from a photo, the quick edit shortcuts for the photo will appear at the bottom of the photo. This new feature seems to be available only on the A25 series, and not available on A05 and A15 series. Additionally, the auto object selection feature from photos in the gallery is only available on the A25 series. Moreover, 
in the A25 series, there is also a new CFS sticker feature that appears as an option when selecting objects from images in the gallery. And then in the latest version of One UI 6, you can also now drag and drop photos or videos in the gallery with two hands. This new feature can be found on all three smartphones. Next, let's take a look at the latest photo editor interface in One UI 6. The layout and features of the new photo editor in One UI 6 appear the same on all three smartphones. The undo and redo features are also available on all three smartphones. They appear directly when editing photos in the built-in photo editor app. Similarly, the new phone options in One UI 6 when editing photos are also available on all three smartphones without any differences. The difference becomes apparent when comparing the video editor features on these three smartphones. Although they all use One UI 6.0 full version, the latest video editor feature called Studio in One UI 6 is only available on A25 series. Meanwhile, on A15 and A05 series, only the light version of the video editor app is available. Another noticeable difference is when playing videos in the built-in video player from the gallery. You can only play videos from the gallery to the video player app on the A25 series. In contrast, on A05 and A15 series, you can only play videos within the gallery and cannot open them in the latest One UI 6 video player view. Then in the latest One UI 6 video player interface, there is a speed control feature directly at the bottom, which can be accessed more quickly and easily. Hopefully you find this video helpful, see you in the next one.